When we're looking at scoring criteria, we chose one reading standard that when we looked at it at first glance, we were like, yeah, this is going to be an easy thing to do. But when we looked at that standard and all of the different expectations and outcomes that fall under that standard, um, we quickly discovered that there was a lot more to that one standard than we originally thought. So we broke each standard apart into what we felt like were the four different areas of that standard. Um, we looked at what we expect each student to be able to do in a, with that specific standard skill. And then we looked at beginning, progressing, meeting, and exceeding that expectation. Right now in our progress, we have um, numbers attached to scoring that we all use that is that we've created together or we use our dibbles. We've had a lot of conversations about what we feel like is meeting that grade level expectation, what's exceeding, what's approaching, and what's beginning those skills. Um, and across our grade level team, we're all on the same page for scoring now, which is really exciting. And we can look at each other's data and say, oh, you're doing really awesome in your nonsense word fluency and reading whole words read. What are you doing? So that we can all share resources and kind of bring the best of each other to the table. Um, we've also talked to our first and second grade teammates as far as looking at that scoring criteria. When our kindergartners leave our room and go into first grade, what do you expect them to have walking in the door? Right now, at our progress of this, we I thought we would be done a long time ago because I was like, oh, this is going to be an easy thing, and it is so much bigger than me or my team <laughs> or our, like our grade level. I don't know that we'll ever be done, um, but it feels like we're all on the same page, taking the same journey together, and we're all growing together to learn more about our students and that data, and being able to take that one standard, it goes into first and second, and being able to have that conversation with my first and second grade teammates to see, say, this is where I think we are, this is where we need to be, what do you think? It has been so, it's been so much fun and so frustratingly challenging at the same time to make that growth and that journey together.